Well, welcome back. This is the fourth installment in a series of videos showing you the steps of creating a scrapbook page using PaintShop Pro. I'm Anita Bean with BeanDesigns.com. Let's open up our scrapbook page that we've been working on. You'll notice that I finished typing a little bit um, on my journaling and basically it looks the same as you left it. I want to show you um, a couple of tricks. If you do paper scrapbooking, people talk about um, inking the edges. I'm going to show you how you can do that using your Paint Shop Pro. So let's ink the edges of our pictures. So over on the Layers palette, I'm going to select my daughter's picture. I'm going to right click and duplicate that picture. Over on the left, we're going to go to our selection tools and choose the magic wand. We're going to make the feathering at 20. Right? Now, on the outside of her picture, I'm going to click on our page. It's going to create a selection of marching ants. I'm going to invert that selection. That would be found in Selections, Invert, or my t I have my uh, tool customized. Now I'm going to push the Delete key on the keyboard. Over on the Layers palette, where the Blend Modes are, I'm going to choose Difference. And it creates a, uh, a muted darkness all the way around our picture, giving it, causing it to pop off the page. Let's highlight my sun's layer, duplicate the layer. We still have our magic wand with a 20 feathering, so we'll click outside of his picture. Once the marching ants show up, we invert the selection, press delete, on the keyboard, go to the blend modes, select difference. Okay, now let's go to our blue background paper layer. Duplicate that layer and duplicate the red layer. If you'll notice on our sample page, it kind of has a three-dimensional look around the edges, as if maybe the page was curled a tad bit. I'm going to show you how I accomplished that. So here is our sample page. We've duplicated the red layer and the blue layer. So now we're going to go over to our selection tool. We're going to choose the rectangle selection. We're going to feather at 160. We're going to go to the top left corner and draw a rectangle, leaving a tad bit of a space inside of our page. Our marching ants are going to show up. And we have the duplicated layer of the blue background paper highlighted and we're going to push the de delete key on the keyboard. We're going to go to the multiply mode and, I'm sorry, the blend mode and choose multiply. And you can adjust the opacity of that layer to however you like it. Let's highlight the red background paper, delete on the keyboard, and once again with the blend mode, choose multiply. And you can make that however dark or light suits your taste. Then you select none and the marching ants go away. 
have a choice with your text. In my sample page, I put texture on my letters. You can do that. You could put shadows on your letters. Or, let me show you what it would look like. You could do the, uh, the same thing we've been doing with the inking of the edges. So what I did was I copied my, the layer that has the A on it. So I copied my vector layer. I'm going to change that layer, convert to raster layer. I'm going to choose my magic wand selection tool with a feathering of 20. I'm going to select outside of the A, invert that selection, press the delete key, blend mode, multiply, and it gives us a little darkened edge all the way around our A. This would be a very fun tool, fun way of highlighting your letters. You can make them look like chipboard letters. Well, this is the end of this series. I'm building a basic scrapbook page. Hope you enjoy some of the tools I introduced to you. And I look forward to presenting more videos in the future. And I hope that you can use these tools to preserve your memories for your children and your children's children. This was Anita Bean with beandesigns.com.